Originally founded in 1994 by Ryan Friedlinghouse with a $5,000 loan from his grandfather, West Coast Customs has become one of the most well-known custom car shops in the United States. After four years of Pimp My Ride, West Coast Customs broke up with MTV. In 2011, Ryan Friedlinghouse started a new show called Inside West Coast Customs. It successfully ran until 2018 with eight seasons behind its back, changing networks several times and eventually landing at the Motor Trend Network. The show's success was thanks to Friedling House himself and the talented crew at West Coast Customs. Ryan personally invited big names to the show throughout the years, starting with Shaquille O'Neal, who later introduced Ryan to other A-list celebrities. The stars who went through the show were Justin Bieber, Post Malone, Travis Scott, The Jonas Brothers, Mark Wahlberg, Kid Rock, Chris Brown, Will I Am, and many more. After being off the air for more than three years, fans keep asking, what happened to the West Coast Customs crew? Is anyone from the original crew still working there? How much do their employees make? Make sure to watch till the end to find out. Welcome to Tuna No Crust. We are a channel focused on car TV shows past and present and would really appreciate it if you could subscribe and hit the bell notification to be notified when we post new and exciting crusty content. Kenny, we got a special delivery for you. Special, special delivery from our friends at KMC. These are ready to go. We don't have to Black. paint them. Yeah, you don't have to do anything. Isn't, that like the, isn't it nice to get something and you don't got to paint it? For once. Nice room though. Yeah, nice wheel, nice cap. Due to the high amount of publicity, Ryan and his West Coast Customs appeared in other reality TV shows, including Pimp My Ride and Street Customs. In 2011, Friedling House created his own show dedicated to his company and team. The show went by the name Inside West Coast Customs and covered extraordinary vehicle restorations and one-off car customizations. Although West Coast Customs is considered successful, they still often come up short for many things. Yes, despite the high-level production and the attraction of A-list celebrities and the endless amounts of money, West Coast Customs has built both great cars and awful ones, proving they still make mistakes like the rest of us. Surprisingly, it's pretty hard to say what has happened with the Inside West Coast Customs cast, partially because the show went through many scandals, most of them aimed at Ryan Friedlinghouse. Over the years, Ryan has been accused of being an aggressive, rude person, with his sole focus on money and being seen with celebrities. Moreover, Friedling House has reportedly been accused of mistreating his employees for his own gain, getting his employee paychecks wrong and increasing work hours to build cars quicker. Furthermore, West Coast Customs has also been accused of aggressive sales tactics, especially when getting customization jobs. The team was also accused of being highly unapologetic when delivering on late deadlines and having returning cars with shoddy car customizations. I just, I regret everything about it. I regret going to West Coast Customs. I regret getting it painted. I regret, I should have just kept my car. It was a nice brand new car at this point. I just feel like by doing this and you know, I, I just, I have to put this video out there. This is like the worst service I've ever experienced in my life. In 2014, West Coast Customs went through a massive scandal of not paying their employees, which later ended up in court. The company was caught not paying its workers fairly from November 2010 to January 2013. Turns out, West Coast Customs had paid their employees a set salary when they should have been paid hourly regarding overtime. Caught red-handed, Ryan Friedlinghouse had to agree and settle for over $150,000 in back pay, which was owed to low-level workers. Ryan Friedlinghouse was called a dictator by many ex-employees, and one ex-worker in particular, Mauricio Hernandez, claimed that he worked every day for 10 to 12 hours, six days a week. Workers also had to stay late and in some cases overnight, all while receiving a set salary no matter how long they had to work. So where are the employees you saw on Inside West Coast Customs now? Let's get into it. I called him in because he does glass etching. When we printed out the sticker and we laid it up against a car, to me, it ruins the car. And we did so much work on these cars to make them authentic and cool and not cheesy. And then once we put the sticker on, I felt like we were going to that cheesy stage. So why don't we Ryan Friedlinghouse. Hate him or love him, but Ryan Friedlinghouse was the man behind the crazy success of West Coast Customs. Of course, the audience trolled many of the cars as being way too fake, unreal, and impossible to maintain off the camera. Some even said Ryan was stuck in the 2000s with his designs, but we still enjoyed watching the show until its closure. Surprisingly, there's not much we know about Ryan Friedlinghouse and his personal life. He was never open about it, 
However, we found out today, Ryan's main focus is his family. Ryan has been happily married to Megan Elliott since the 25th of December 2011. The couple has two sons, Ryan Jr. and Dylan, and a daughter named Brianna. The first son became a famous entrepreneur without following his father's footsteps, being in the fashion industry. Ryan Jr. has launched a clothing line named Pas de Faux. The second son, Dylan, became a singer and is already famous on YouTube under Dynamite Dylan. Check him out. It's safe to say that today, Ryan Friedlinghouse is concentrated more on his kids' careers rather than his own. However, Friedlinghouse's example is not quite as romantic as one would hope. Over the last few years, Friedlinghouse has been accused of selling out. Critics stated he's only in the game for the money and not the quality of the company's work. Friedlinghouse now has around a whopping $20 million, so it is easy to see why there are so many haters. Whatever the case may be, he did an excellent job of building a recognizable company. But when I think of Big Day and I think about how our friendship started, it started with that truck. With, yeah. Right? It's yeah. just like Dane came to me in Laguna Niguel wow. and had a Ford Dually, one of the first ones out. First ones out, yeah. And he yeah. said, I need that air suspension on it that moves like hydraulics. Big Dane. Big Dane, a.k.a. Dana Florence, has been with West Coast Customs since the early days. He first met Friedlinghouse as a customer at his shop in Laguna Niguel, where he went to get hydraulics installed on his Ford Dually pickup truck. After the work was done, Big Dane didn't pay for the work, but later came back to the shop to pay after feeling bad about it. They became friends out of it and from then became business partners together. He was on both Pimp My Ride and Inside West Coast Customs, where he created a name for himself in the entertainment world. Well, since the show's cancellation, Big Dane has decided to pursue his other passion of cooking barbecue. He shares on his Instagram clips of him smoking meats and serving them at the shop. He owns a food truck business called Big Dane's West Coast Barbecue. He's maintained a friendship with Friedling House all these years and is the longest standing member of the crew. All right, Ash, let's talk about the Sprinter, buddy. Sprinter for the Monster the Kids. The Monster Kids. So I think we need to keep it simple. Keep it the monster colors, black, use some red stitching. I had Touche come up with some logos for each one of the kids. Ish Jimenez. Ish Jimenez learned his way to a car craft in 1983, being only 11 years old. He worked in his uncle's upholstery and learned the trade there. The young fella came from nowhere and showed the world the wildest way of customizing car interiors. However, it never went smoothly for the young guy. Growing up as a Mexican boy in South Central LA had only one option, joining a gang. Ish joined a gang when he was 12 and got into some trouble and got into probation. However, Ish successfully quit his criminal relations and focused mainly on car interiors. He got hired by Ryan and started working at West Coast Customs where he eventually got a role on Pimp My Ride. After Pimp My Ride, Ish established long-term relations with West Coast Customs, being in both Inside West Coast Customs on Velocity and Street Customs on TLC. Today, Ish is on his own. He runs Royal Auto Designs in North Hollywood, California. Ish is the only member of the original crew who continues to use his fame and platform to represent the auto upholstery industry. Some original idea was to have a full entire lit floor that basically a monster logo. And to do that, you know, it's kind of some integration on how we're going to do it. So I came up with the idea of using carpet. Kenny Fitzer. Kenny was the shop manager in West Coast Customs who had the stressful job of making sure that every car was finished on time and that the projects went smoothly. He learned the skills to do such a job during his time before West Coast Customs at a design shop called Metal Crafters USA, where he helped design concept cars for all the major car manufacturers, including Ford and GM. He left Metal Crafters and got hired by Ryan where he saw him manage multiple high-stakes builds for the shop. Kenny worked at West Coast Customs for five years, and now he works at a design studio that he created called Kenny Fitzer Designs. He's made some really cool custom cars, including a Mustang that looks like a Ford GT, an all-electric side-by-side, and many architectural pieces as well, like things for theme parks and museums. But what do you think? Does Ryan Friedlinghouse deserve the fame he has today? What do you think about Ish Jimenez? Was he the most talented crew member, or was it someone else? Share your opinion in the comments section below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe so you don't miss an upload. And you can enjoy the excellent content we send your way. We'll see you next time.